five. I did it faster than I did, but that's okay. Oh, well, that's that's for you to figure Welcome out. Welcome to a new filming location. Dun, dun, dun. New filming location unlocked. Hey, I'm also in a different filming location. Oh, oh my gosh. Link just crawled out of the teeny tent that Tanner got teeny. Oh, does, does Teeny go into the Teeny tent, or does Link prefer mm, more? They've both been in it. I think, I don't know who uses it more. Right now, Teeny's in Good. the tunnel. Isn't that? Right now. Oh, a Teeny tunnel. There, there's just so many possibilities with Teeny's name. To, oh, I know. I don't know. Makes so many, so many jokes. Um, welcome to my living room. Hello. Well, you can't really see it just because... You got your blurred on, oh, but um, what is on. the archway? Oh, I guess I haven't I'm really noticed the archway. I'm just like, I don't have a blur on. Oh, um, oh, yeah. yeah. Behind the scenes, this arch. I don't know. It came like that. Place like we, Tanner and I went to dinner a couple weeks ago. At, like, wouldn't recommend. It was like this barbecue place that was very average, but um, it was like an old building where they had like all like the crowned molding and like just the. Uh, I, I love all the detail that used to go into old mm-hmm. buildings. It's so interesting. And then it's like you look at your little I know silly little cutout, and it's just like that's a interesting <laughs> choice. It's as if so, if someone had a big head, it, it would like it would mold over that person's I big know. head. I you know? have no idea why that's like that. <laughs> but, um, whatever. Here we are. Yeah, I'm on my green couch. I have a bookshelf in the back. That's my kitchen. My room is in front of me. Nice, nice. Is Kristen around no, or Kristen's is she? She's having an appointment with her CPA. She's doing her taxes today. Oh my goodness. I had my taxes yesterday. So I'm unsupervised in my home. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yesterday was kind of kind of sad. I'm just kidding because I hate the tax appointment. But this is the last time we'll be doing it this way because the way we have been doing it in the past couple of years is since my dad and I were partners and stuff, it was like we do my parents' taxes, then we do the farm taxes, and then we do my taxes. And we've still been doing that because I do my dad's book work and stuff. But next year, I'm going to have to do my taxes with Tanner. Teeny's in the teeny tent. Sorry. So... so so we're going to have to do uh, two different appointments because there's absolutely no way that my brain can function for doing all of all of those taxes in one appointment, like brain space. Yeah, would be wait, out. that's crazy. You're going to f- be married next year. You're going to file together. I know. As a fierce, independent woman and also Tanner being a fierce, independent woman, like we're both like, wait, why do we have to do this? Um, but I don't know. Apparently that's like what you have to Laws. do when you're in a... A mar- a mirage. Oh, I wish I wasn't filming uh, on my laptop because I would turn it around because Teeny looks so cute in her teeny tent. You'll have to uh, snap a pic. I know. For the I'll Insta. insert a picture right here. <laughs> do you do that? So that- tent. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with YouTube. I mean, I'm sure it's user error, but I cannot get our videos to upload in one go. So the last two weeks I've had to yeah. do. Oh my gosh, Link. Link, stop biting her head. Um, I've the had drama. to do our uploads like in two, like part one and part two. And yeah, I don't know why bits. it'll like upload for like yeah, three yeah. hours and then it'll be like, it's on the internet. And I go and I look and it's like 22 minutes. And I'm like, well, that's certainly not it. Yeah, that's bizarre. I can offer you no help because I have no idea what I'm doing over on the tube of the U use. Yeah. Well, um, sister friend last night I had the dinner party to yeah. end all dinner parties. It was incredible. Ooh, tell me about this dinner party to end all dinner parties. So I work with two fabulous gals, and um, Cassie, my coworker, decided to host us for a dinner party. Mm -hmm. So I made my way to Brooklyn, and she has a beautiful apartment that she owns and um, with her husband, and they cooked us a delicious dinner, and we had way too much to drink, and we were dancing until midnight, and it was so fun. That's so crazy. I had a shredded chicken sandwich, and then I had some cold Chinese mm. food at 9 p.m. after our game, and Tanner had pickles for dinner. Pickles. Um, <laughs> pickles. 
pickles uh we didn't have much at the house i think he also had other things but he was saying that he was having pickles for dinner while i was eating a shred I do chicken, love a shred this chicken. Game. but no she she made um yeah delicious roasted chicken with a side like Ooh. a green salad and we had a baked brie and we had this delicious sourdough and wow. we had c- you have the right we kind had of friends. Three dinner cocktails, and then we had like three bottles of wine during dinner, and then Audra, my other coworker, brought a homemade pie for dessert, and and then we had wow. a dance party, and it was so fun. Oh my goodness, wow. that that's that's so fun. That's it wow. Was the dinner party to wow. all dinner parties. See, that's when I'm looking at like things on like Zola for my registry things. I'm like, oh, I could get plates and serving ware and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, when's the last time I've even like, I mean, Tanner and I cook for ourselves, but like the last, I think honestly, the last time I threw any sort of gathering at my house was when you graduated college. Oh yeah. You did it. You did it like a graduation brunch for me. Um, so and I talked about you we'll have friends over last night. night. I talk about you all the time because I have two friends and you're one of them. And um, I was saying how we were talking about wedding registries because we were talking about how much we loved her plates and her uh, glassware. And she just kept being like, wedding registry. And I was saying how you and Tanner have been together for so long and you've lived together for so long and you guys just like buy what you want. And so like, what are you going to put on your dinner registry? And Cassie was like, you know, I hear people say that a lot, but I just replaced everything <laughs> and I just upgraded yeah. everything. And I was like, you know, that's a good point. Well, and that's like, yeah, because it's like we have a mix mash of dishes of like three teal dishes that I had that used to be four. I smashed one and then like three different dinner plates that are different colors. But like, I also can't see myself throwing out the old ones. Yes, you um, can. Just because like, I know some of them have like sentimental value. Which the like, teal plate so from dumb. college has a, a sentimental value. Not, not, the, no, not, not the teal plates. The teal plates can, the, the teal plates could be taken to your rage room. Um, but but uh, did, did we talk no, about the rage room? We have a long list of things here? to catch up on. We'll have, and that's okay. one of them. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, no, I know. And then I was like registering for mugs and I was like, I cannot fit a single more mug into this home. Um, but like there are mugs I could get rid of also like, uh, so when Tanner moved in, um, locally there was someone that had a fire and so we had like double of everything. So that was like a perfect opportunity to like give away half of our kitchen mm-hmm. things. Um, just because like, I knew they weren't just going to like a random salvation army to be like picked through and or thrown away. And it was like, it, it, it felt good that I knew they were actually going to yeah. something. Um, so that that was a good opportunity. Not not that I'm hoping for another house fire at some point for someone, um, but yeah, I guess I, I I I could pack up and give away some some yeah. things. But then like I don't know because then I'm like I'm looking at the KitchenAid mixer because the number one registered item in the entire world is always the KitchenAid mixer, and I love Mom's because it's this light pink one and it's just gorgeous. gorgeous. But like I I like. I can just use, like, I look at the price and I'm like, oh, that's crazy. I have two hands that I can just stir things <laughs> with. Okay. If they make making mashed potatoes so much easier, they make baking chocolate chip cookies so I much know. easier. There's definitely, I don't know how much you cook, they but really there's do. definitely a good reason to get one. Um, yeah. I really ha- want, uh, like, a nice Dutch oven. That's what I've had my eye on for a while. And La Crusette had an Instagram giveaway. <laughs> Um. Uh huh. Yeah, I saw. That I you know. Me. I tagged gorgeous. three we're gonna, people. We're gonna get a little guest appearance real quick. Say hello to the folks. Good Dad, morning. you were in my dream last night. Oh, he can't hear me. I'm in your ears. Oh, Kenzie says that you were in her dream last night. Oh, what was I doing? I don't, rem- I don't what remember. Were you doing? This is I think we were just like at dinner. <laughs> she doesn't remember. <laughs> Wait, why am I? Te- I'm talking into the mic, telling you instead of telling Dad. <laughs> You guys apparently were at dinner. I don't know. You'll have to catch up with her later because I don't think this is going to make fantastic content. But right. we'll I, Dad, Dad got kicked out of the office. Tell Dad and I love day. him. Kenzie says that she loves you. I love her. Okay. Yeah, I, I kicked him out. He was watching Ag Day in here, and I was like, you have to go. I didn't know if you were going to film because like 20 <laughs> minutes ago on your Instagram story, you were like, and a tractor. I was, I was like, humble yeah, forgot about me again. Ago. You're supposed to record on Wednesday. No, I, 
And then I was like, Zoe, we're we recording. And Zoe's like, oh, I forgot. Do you want to do it at 9 p.m.? Which absolutely not. I'm in bed by then. I know. I was in a tractor um, then, too. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. Two things um, we have to. Sorry about discuss. that. What were we talking about? Okay. Yes. Oh, hello, Link. Link. No, I'm going to have to censor that. <laughs> hey, get down. Wait, while I'm here, I can talk to you guys about my two most prized possessions. Um, Link, seriously, I need you to move. So I have two pillows. <laughs> the first one I got was this one. It's an olive, obviously. And these are a splurge. These are like kind of embarrassingly expensive. Link, you're seriously killing my vibe. <laughs> get down. Linky boy. Um. So anyways, I got this olive. And then I put it on my green couch. And I'm like, that's so cute. And then they came out with this tomato. And if you don't know anything about me, I'm obsessed with tomatoes. Not as much as I'm obsessed with olives. But now, are they not just like the cutest things ever? They seriously bring me so it's much joy. Whenever they just like well, sit there on my couch. It's so funny. Yeah, whenever I see a tomato, I'm like, oh, push pin. Because mm-hmm. like... They do. They look like a the giant push pin. Tomate, tomato. Tomato. Yeah. Um, I love it. I'm going to bite you back. <laughs> Anyways. Oh. Um, we have to talk about your true living <laughs> competition. Oh, my goodness. It's so crazy. Like, that was less than a week ago, and it feels like a year and a half ago. Um, but, yeah, so we so we, we only do one true living competition a year currently. Um, just, like... We have a lot going on during the winter seasons, and it's like a packed schedule um, with games and stuff. So we always just go to one a year. The kids get the whole experience of learning a routine and performing in front of people and stuff. And um, we got second in our category. Woot woot. Of two. (laughs) Of two, unfortunately. Um, This was an odd competition. There were some odd rules that are not like standard, in my opinion. I don't know. I... Once again, we go to one competition a year, but things are a lot different from when I was in high school and a lot different from like when I was in college and stuff. So um, some interesting rule changes. Um, so I think maybe maybe that could have been why some teams dropped out because uh, originally I think we were supposed to have like eight in our category. Oh, wow. Um, and, we, and we could have actually also changed categories ourselves because um, b- by the time that we got around to the competition, we were like mid-sized and we could have been small-sized because... Uh, we had an injury and we were like right on that bubble, that that cusp between categories. Mm -hmm. Um, so we could have actually, um, moved down, but originally when when we'd been looking, there were more people in this category. So we stayed in this category and then everyone left this category. (laughs) Um, but it was, it was fine. Um, the other team looked like they probably compete every single weekend. Um, so you know, the girls weren't, they, they, they understood, you know, how they did and why. Um, but it's always great to just like have feedback from other people. Um, we had one stunt that fell, which was just an odd because like, I would say there's like one or two stunts where it's always like, ah, you know, that would be the one to go down. This was not one that would be normal to go down. So it was just like a kind of mm-hmm. odd, odd ball. Um, so the girls were a little bummed about that, but they, it was like right at the very beginning of the routine, but they pushed through and didn't let it show that they were, uh, knocked off kilter. And then the odd thing is that for like, they didn't take off points. Um, there were no deductions. So like the girl got into the air and immediately fell down. So I don't know if they thought this was like a show and go situation, Interesting. <laughs> but it didn't make any sense at all because like the other two were standing up doing the cheer. Yeah. Thing. So I don't know. I don't know, but, um, it went good. And it's just so funny how much cheerleading has changed from the time I was in mm-hmm. high school. Just like, we used to do like everyone had like the big bumpets in mm-hmm. their hair, and like they, like a lot of teams had like the fake mm-hmm. hair, and that like everyone everyone does a slicked back ponytail now, and it's just like it looks so like clean and collegiate, and like this new category of game day, like I just love mm-hmm. it. Um, just I, like I I think it's I don't know I, I I I like the category I like that we're doing that category. I did now. game day in um, high school no. um, just because. It was, we decided it was the only category that we could be like really pretty competitive. Um, And I liked it because we got to wear our summer uniforms instead. 
because it was it was like a collegiate oh. it, it felt more collegiate and and it was back when yeah. um yeah tall socks were in so we were like wearing our tall socks with our i don't know our cheerleading shoes yes. it was funny yeah yeah that's yeah and yeah because when you were in high school like there was no stunting Mm -hmm. around here right no okay yeah and so now we have like stunting and non-stunting categories um but it's just so interesting like it's just so interesting how much has evolved in just like 10 years yeah for sure but yeah so so comp went good um i wouldn't say the girls were like disappointed with their placing or anything but i think they still did good i think they would have loved to have like knocked it out of the park but but we, we went we saw i don't think i ever was in a cheerleading competition that we won i don't even think we even got the banana at cheerleading camp you've completely cut out to me unfortunately oh, can you hear me now thank you rural internet i was just saying that yeah, i don't think I i've ever know. been to a cheerleading competition that i won and that we also i don't even think got the oh. banana once at camp yeah like cheer camp yeah <laughs> if for anyone that hasn't attended a cheerleading camp before if you go to the uca ones like there's this like spirit award that's like a banana i wonder if they i bet they still probably I'm sure do they it, probably right? do it's kind of like their signature I have a little bit of trauma their signature thing um about <laughs> camp and i can tell you why i as, as did zoe we did gymnastics for like our entire elementary school lives and i did it up until when i was 15 and so I was a freshman in high school and I still competed. And then sophomore year, I decided to stop doing gymnastics and I started cheerleading. And going from a completely individual sport to a team sport, I think was harder for me than I anticipated because we would go to cheerleading camp and I would see people not trying as hard as I was trying. And that really bothered me. And so I'd get spicy with some people. My coach had to be like, Kenzie, you need to like bring it down a little bit like this isn't life or death but it really bothered me when (laughs) like in a team sport if not everyone it was like what was the point of me trying if you're not gonna try exactly and i really struggled with that that's how it always would be for two years because i actually really found it to be frustrating and that's how i know i'm not a team player Yeah, no, it's it's hard. It's it's hard. And watching like the seniors on the team, like everyone has a different strategy mm-hmm. for like their leadership and stuff. And it's it's so interesting, like watching girls navigate. And, and it's really it's really cool seeing them go from being like a freshman and like they're learning to being a sophomore, getting a little bit confidence, junior, like they know they're up there. And like I I was telling AJ last night because like you know this is the last uh, normal season game into you know, before playoffs or whatever. And I'm really interested to see how our juniors like transition into that leadership yeah. role. Um, and, and I mean, these kids are like 16, 17. So it's just like, I don't yeah. know. It's fun watching the young mind work and, and just even being like around high schoolers, like the things that they're worried about are like, I, I, cause a lot of the seniors are like applying to mm-hmm. colleges and like, you know, doing stuff like that. And it's, it's so interesting. Like I kind of remember that time in my life. And like, I, it's also such a blur that I'm like, was I nervous for these things mm-hmm. or did I just like assume, you know, I'd get in somewhere. Like, I don't, I don't remember. Like, I know I completely blacked that, out that process much. year of high school. I think I was just like doing too much and I was just like focused on getting yeah. through it. I, yeah, and I do remember being, like, I was, like, fully ready to be yeah. done. Whereas, like, I think there's some kids that are, like, it's our senior year. It's the last time we're doing this. It's the last time we're doing that. And I was, like, thank goodness it's I the agree. last time I have to I remember, do this like, our that. last football game, and everyone was, like, really sad. And I was, like, this is cold. I'm ready to go home. I was, like, really over the practices and, like, the late nights and – yeah, and I didn't even mm-hmm. I didn't cheer senior year, um, so I don't even know what I did during basketball season. Minded my own business. Oh, I yeah. don't know. <laughs> I went to youth group. I know. I was um, like in a call and like also was in 4-H and FFA. Because it was just and, very in. Very yeah. Oh, you were involved with. I was. I was and national honor society You're, president, yeah. FFA vice president, 4-H president. I was just like doing a lot. Everything. I remember that your, your I really resume wanted, was like how do we I get like this really on one wanted page? a job in high school just like I really wanted some disposable income 
and I like I've always liked buying purses and other things and I just like wanted to be able to do that um but I would like look at my schedule and it's like I had meetings all the time like I just was too busy yeah yeah that's I I worked in high school but um it was just doing tumbling lessons and that was like I think two to three days a week and it was only a couple hours and then I'd work for dad which that was nice because it was like super flexible and it was like I could just do whenever it worked for me but yeah some of my girls have jobs and I don't know how like I I can't imagine the working more than like five hours I know I can't imagine going to school how much they have going on in practice and also a job like that's just crazy yeah yeah, I do wish I had gotten a job my junior and senior year of college. So my freshman and sophomore year, like there was absolutely, absolutely no time, uh, just because I was uh, cheering, doing cheerleading, yeah. and, and that like, is a full time job. It wasn't. Yeah. Now I think there was like maybe one or two people that had jobs. So I'm not saying it isn't imp- impossible. Um, I think some people did, but um, like my junior and senior year, I I like once again gotten involved in all of the extracurriculars my freshman and sophomore year of college and then I was like why am I why am I doing this when I come back to this farm my dad's not going to look at my resume and see how active yeah. I was also I was like in therapy at that time hardcore for like my eating disorder so I was you like a lot going on going th- through I had, a, I had a lot going on uh but I'm like why didn't I just get a fun job working at like the mm-hmm. mall or like working at a coffee shop like I I kind of wish I had had a like not that like those jobs are stress free, but just like, mm-hmm. you know, a casual minimum wage job. Yeah. Like I, I could have done that. Yeah. I, so I was doing too much in high school. So when I went to college, I did no extracurriculars. I was like literally in one club. Um, and I didn't do Greek life or anything like okay. that. Um, but, but you also had 45 every single yeah. semester f- from second semester freshman year through when I graduated, I had an internship. So I had like five internships by the time I graduated. And like, were all of those unpaid? Yeah. Um, at the yeah, that's the, that's the savage thing about a stipend, yeah. but it was like literally $600. It was like, it was like supposed to cover my like metro fare. Um, I know. And now, now I think all museums offer paid internships which is nice I, they yeah definitely it just to. feels so un- unethical oh my gosh so unethical <laughs> you were doing so much for nothing I know it's like but. really it's a whole messed up system and I felt really passionate about unpaid internships and and the cruelty that it is and the elitism that it draws and the lack of diversity and the reasons why all of those things yeah because you yeah because you the museum work but then by the time i was writing my master's yeah. thesis i thought about talking about that but then most museums had switched and, and they don't offer on paid internships so that's good that's i mean that is great that things have changed yeah just because like yeah if you needed the money to work through college like you can't just be taking unpaid jobs yeah and yeah so uh yeah no I like mean, it's a reason that the majority of the interns <laughs> are white and from affluent families and the people that get those internships get the best job opportunities and then they take the jobs and then they feel the most encouraged to apply for upper, upper level management and they're running the company and that's why all of our CEOs are white and and it's not good. Yep. But yep. slowly, hopefully things are changing. Slowly but surely. Um, so, okay, we've gotten, we haven't even started a topic, I guess, in general. We're, we were just kind of popping all over the place. But I wanted to know, uh, apartment update? Yeah. Like, have, um, are you no, still? So, March 1st, I'm going to reach out to my guy who I've been talking to about apartments. And so, like, yeah. next week. Yeah, End yeah, of this yeah, week, yeah. I guess. And hopefully, start that application process. Nice. That is exciting. Yes. I know I'm be sad not to see this weird little door with your every single archway New York in apartment it. has like a weird character, like one way or yeah. another. Yeah, I know. I like this place. Yeah. Um, the living room has no windows, which kind of stinks. Um, I'm gonna really miss my dishwasher because I doubt I'll get a dishwasher in my next place. But no, this place has been good to me. I just I'm ready for a new neighborhood. I'm ready to live alone. Mm-hmm. It 
it's gonna be good um wreck it room did i talk to you about my wreck it room yes you you talked to me a little bit about your wreck it room but i yeah i want to get the the full rundown so when was this this was this, this was last weekend? last weekend this was last okay Sunday night because we had Monday off we went to a racket room where it was for Audrey's birthday oh my gosh speaking of birthdays today's Kimber's birthday we'll get to that in a second and yesterday was JD's birthday everyone I've ever met everyone who's everyone who's good in this world I know <laughs> it's really crazy but anyway so her birthday was last weekend yeah. we went to this record room you buy electronics via a la carte so like plates are 250 printers are 20 bucks you can get monitors you can get I don't even know, DVD players, <laughs> like any old electronic you can think of, you can get. And then they give you a baseball bat and you can turn some music on and you just go ham. And um, so you just get baseball bats. You, that's the only implement you can use. Correct. Um, so plates you can like throw against the wall. There's like a bullseye on the wall you aim for. Um, but yes, just baseball bats. Interesting. And I found it to be really anxiety inducing. I think, yeah, yeah. Was it loud? Yeah, and we had really loud music, and okay. hitting things are really loud. And then, and I can definitely see for some people, it's probably like super fun. I I also don't think I would like axe throwing. I think it's like the same people that like axe throwing with like a record room. I don't know. Just um, hmm. not for me, but I'm glad I went because like an experience, whatever. Um, yeah, I always like get really anxious when people get like angry and violent in that way <laughs> and like i just don't feel like i do that yeah and so mm-hmm. seeing people like beat the shit out of a printer with a baseball bat it's like yeah. <laughs> kind of crazy yeah and you had like you had like ppe on yeah protective we, um, stuff you had like a jumpsuit you had like what felt like a welding helmet um <laughs> with like a little thing in front guard yeah, on it and yeah. you had headphones but we signed a waiver so we can't sue in case we got hurt yeah the thing the thing that would make me nervous is all the people in the same room yeah. like i feel like i'd feel more safe if i was the only person I, well, in the that room was scary destroying too, stuff just because like trat like, and all that like <laughs> someone was gonna like accidentally throw their bat back and hit me or like people were gonna get too close and like accidentally hit each other like i was just i was just scared um but yeah 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 um yeah when i destroyed my printer a couple weeks ago that felt really cathartic and then i was like picking up all these little pieces of glass and i was like oh this was dumb i should have done this in a different area but yeah um yeah there was the printer was i think the scariest one because when you got to that like copying level and the printer and all that glass was flying i was like ah um yeah but anyways, um, uh-huh. today is Kimber's twenty fifth birthday. The two five. Can you believe she's twenty five? It's kind of crazy. I met uh, her. I can I can believe in the same level that you. I were met her yeah. when we were Do five, and so we've known each other for twenty years. Wow! Isn't that bonkers? Wow. It is. Yeah. 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 So did you guys meet in kindergarten? Yeah, we met on the very first day. Um, so at our kindergarten, only half the class comes on the first day, and the other half the class comes on the second day. And I was at the pink table, and um, like everyone happened to be there that day on the, the day that like my half of the class came. And Kimber was at the green table, and Kimber was alone. And I felt bad that she was sitting alone, so I got up and I moved over to sit with her. And Mrs. Glamfith yelled at me. She said, we have assigned seats in this classroom. <laughs> oh, my God. And I was like, I'm five. <laughs> I also had her. Um, lovely woman. Lovely family. Great I, and people. she turned out to be um, so uh, nice to me, like, later on in life. And and I'm sure at five, yes. you're just, like, simply trying to well, teach she, her there rules. There has to be rules. because Yeah, no, because it's like you cannot just have kindergartners moving around to different yeah. spots. But in, in I'm like with all those kids on the first day of school, she couldn't address the situation and be like, oh, this person's trying to do But little did she know that person. we formed a lifelong yeah. friendship that day. Yes. <laughs> That's amazing. 
That's, oh, well, that's, it's, it's, yeah, it's interesting. Cause like, obviously our families like know each mm-hmm. other and like, I just, I, that's always interesting to me to be like, oh, this person's going to end up being friends with this person. Mm-hmm. And I like, know, she, we live a block, up a mile block away from, from, us, from her. Yeah. And, and you guys did 4 each in the same mm-hmm. group. So it's like, you were bound, you were bound to be buddies. Yeah. I mean, way. my graduating class was like 50 people. Like we were obviously going to know each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah well and you realize that you're like in similar things my favorite thing about you two is that you guys always at um 4-h at the uh fair you would do like the little speaking yeah, our, contest our together pres- as like a yeah. team our illustrated talks it was so it was so cute yeah well we were pals i know i was, and you go to you would wear matching outfits like just for your speeches not just like in the day-to-day yeah. world just for your speeches. i know we we're really silly um yeah, we always. I mean, we did 4-H, FFA, Junior Fair Board. We did like the whole shebang together. Um, yeah, but yeah, today is her birthday. Do you want to share your trauma in kindergarten? Oh, my my trauma was a few things. Um, the first off being that like we always did story time, and um, like the teacher would always like ask <laughs> this is so dumb the teacher would always ask like who's read this book and our grandmother had been a she elementary was a third school teacher. teacher and also mom she had loved to read yes so she had every book in the world and my mom would like literally read us like ev- every single night religiously like a handful of books and like so since her mom was a teacher like we just rotated through all the books in yeah. the universe and so at story time like one day um, like she just said, Hey, has anyone read this book? And I like, raised my hand and she's like, Zoe, you always raise your hand. There's no way that you've read all these books. And of, of, like, as a kindergartner, I was like, not gonna be like, I'm not, but I took that as like, Oh my goodness. She thinks I'm a big fat liar. <laughs> um, so I, I think I stopped raising my hand after that point, like going forward. Cause I was like, okay, never mind. And, and then, um, and then sense. we, and, and then I remember we had, um, cheerleading we had like mini cheer one week and someone was in the teacher was like what are you guys doing after school and i said i have cheer and she's like you're not old enough to be in cheer which obviously she was just teasing me she was teasing me and i took it as like she once again does not believe me and i'm a big fat liar and then once and then one time i i did i did i did cheat off of monica on a test one time in kindergarten (laughs) Yeah, but it was because I didn't understand how to do it. I didn't, it was like the bubbles. You were just like trying to <laughs> find not, directions. I didn't, know, I didn't know how to. Yeah. <laughs> was, I only uh, cheated. I hated kindergarten though. I hated it so much. I was, I, I couldn't, I like, it was like the following directions on like, you, like we'd always take a square and you have to cut off the two, ed- like the four edges mm-hmm. to then make a whatever. And then you cut off those edges to like make a circle. And I was like, I was like, okay, we've done this 400 times. I'm just going to go, so, I'm going to start doing this. And like on every single paper, on every single activity we ever did, like she wrote like slow down because I was always in a rush and I've never learned. I've never learned since then. So it's like, she tried, she tried in kindergarten to like teach me this lesson of like you have to slow down and i absolutely still have not learned that That's lesson so funny <laughs> i remember getting in trouble because um to make a circle you cut off whatever the corners and i was just like this is stupid we know what a circle looks like and i just like cut a circle <laughs> and she came over <laughs> and she picked up my scraps and obviously because i didn't have triangle scraps <laughs> i had a circle outline she showed it to the whole class and she was like this is what we don't do everybody <laughs> and i was like did i get a circle <laughs> like same result in the end <laughs> like I know, but the whole thing is like we were like, supposed to be following directions, and we were like unwilling to follow. I was just like, this is so stupid. We know what oh a circle looks like. It's, it's so funny how Those like teachers can have such you. an impact mm-hmm. on you. And when I was in second grade, it was either second. Or, yeah, no, I think it was second grade. Um, mm-hmm. We were turning in papers, and I just waited because there was like just a clusterfuck of everyone like turning in <laughs> their, their papers. Yeah. And I just stood, I just stood back to get out of the way. And the teacher to the whole class was like, 
Zoe is a model <laughs> citizen. Like she, she has patience and patience is so good, which is like so funny. Cause I literally, I, as I told you, I have no patience. Like I'm always rushing to get stuff done. I just happened that one time to like stay back. And then I was like, I am a patient person. Like I just wait for others. And then I just go after the, like, which is so not me at all. But like, I took that on as my identity for a while because like, I got this one compliment. <laughs> I remember I cheated a one time in my entire school career of 20 years. Um, it was a, there was extra credit to do a crossword and I forgot to do it. And I knew mom was going to murder me <laughs> if she found out I didn't do the extra credit crossword. And so I was like, Austin... He turned out to be our valid Victorian. I was like, hey, can I copy that? And he was like, sure, I don't care. Here you go. And I was copying it down. And then Mr. Amicone came in and watched me copy it down. And he took both and he took them to the front of the classroom and he ripped them in half in front of everyone. And I felt so bad for Austin because I was like, come on, man. Like, that was yours. I'm so sorry. I, you shouldn't have let me copy. And I went up and I was like apologizing to Austin. And I was like, I will give you $5. Like, I'm so sorry. And Austin was literally like, I don't care. I have a 4.0 GPA. I didn't need this anyways. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to do well in life. I was I just trying to like, help literally you. a doctor now. Like, he's fine. And then I went up to Mr. Amicon and I was like, I need you to know that like I am not a cheater. I don't want you to think that, like poorly of me or whatever. And Mr. Gamacon was like, I don't care, kid. <laughs> like I can't. It's it's, not yeah, that deep. he was like, I don't care. And then literally the next day, he like left the school forever. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I liked him. Oh, he 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 was actually he was like pretty good friends with uh, Kaylee and Gage. I think he was at their wedding. Mm. That was the last time I saw him. It was like they were like shuffling around teachers, and I think he like well, and he went to a different grade. He or was. Something. N- yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Because I was gonna say he was also like a young teacher, so he might have, like, because he. I don't think he teaches there anymore. I think he switched to a different yeah. school. But um, long term. Yeah. He was right? like, you don't need to do all this. <laughs> you don't. I don't. I don't need all this. And yeah, I was like, huh? no, I'm not a cheater. Don't disrespect my character like that. Uh, and he's like, uh, first of all, you are a cheater. Or... I saw you cheating. <laughs> <laughs> So you're backing up your cheating because <laughs> I watch you. I'm, I'm not a cheater. I just cheated the one time that you caught me. I swear. Um, now there, there was one time another memorable memory was like I was in uh, FFA and Mrs. Martin was I think she was on maternity leave or something or like maybe like she had been gone. She must have just been gone a day because um, so maybe she like had an appointment pre giving birth a um maternity leave. but like we had a substitute teacher and yeah and we were just supposed to write like a summary of like an article or something and my handwriting was absolutely trash and atrocious and i know i just rushed to do it in five minutes and like skimmed the article did a horrible job and she gave me um rightfully like a c on it and i was like a straight a mm-hmm. student in like the in that class and i was like i knew i was gonna get in trouble because i knew mom would like yell at me and i was like Mrs. Martin, I can't do this. What can I, like, why'd you give me a C? I did it. And she's like, Zoe, your handwriting is absolutely unlegible. I couldn't read a, a <laughs> single word. And I was like, my handwriting's just bad, okay? And then she's like, if you want to rewrite it, I'll regrade it. And then I was like, oh no, now I have to like <laughs> redo it. And so then I like, I actually put effort into like my mm-hmm. handwriting and like, I, as I was doing it, I was like, okay, yeah, I did a pretty crap job the first <laughs> time around. That. So when I was in college, um, I just took a blue book exam, which is like literally you get a blue book and you write your answers in it. And it was uh, an American history class. And the professor was an asshole. He went to Yale. Then he got his PhD from Yale. Then he taught at Yale. Then he came to GW, where a bunch of losers went to school. A bunch of dum-dums. And every single day, he would tell us how dumb we were compared to everyone at Yale. And um, the blue book exam was like, it was just one question, and you just had to write a long essay. And um, we're not good spellers, as we've talked about. I have fine handwriting, but my spelling is really bad. And so I got my exam back and it just said, is English your first language? And so I went to him and I was like, 
Oh, and also, if you didn't go to his office hours before the midterm, you were not allowed to go to his office hours after the midterm. So, oh, that's he, an interesting. Yeah. So I had technique. to just, like go up to him in front of everybody, and I was like, "What does this mean?" And he was like, "Is is English not your first language? I'll give you a better grade if English is not your first language." And I was like, no, English is the only language I know. And he's like, your spelling <laughs> is terrible. I can't understand what you're saying. And then he died the next semester alone. So let that be known. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wait, that's so much. Um, first off, did you did you for a moment even consider being like, no, because then he'd no, been like, English what's your first like- language? And then, and then <laughs> he'd been like, like, and then he'd be like, in that. Como estas? <laughs> or I, would, I would have literally just been like, I went to the most rural high school where we didn't have good funding. It's not my fault. <laughs> no. I mean, the spell, it, it does not matter where we went to school. Our spelling would have been I know. atrocious. And no I was like, what. every other class, it's like an essay you write on a computer. So it actually doesn't affect me that much. Except for in this yeah. one particular circumstance but he humiliated once again i was humiliated in front of everybody <laughs> <laughs> wait he did that yeah, because i couldn't go to his office hours because i didn't go before the midterm oh, oh, and so oh, i had oh, to just oh. do it in class oh my goodness i went to a class one time well, in office hours one time because i really didn't go to many office hours uh actually no i went to two the one time it was before the midterm and the professor was so excited that people were at his office hours. He went over the entire midterm with us. Every single question. Every single question. And then we went, we, we literally, it was like an hour before the exam. And then we walked across the street, went and took the exam. Now, me, I, I don't have a good memory. I don't have recall. I have nothing. Um, and so I was like, the other people that went into the office hours, like flew mm-hmm. by the test and like turned it in immediately and were done. And I was like, I don't I remember about 25% of what we talked about. Um, so I, I could have been like really set up for success. Uh, but since I have no memory, it didn't work too well for me. And then I went to this other office hours for this other class because I, like my senior year, I just needed like two more credit hours like to graduate. And I was just like, ah, I'll take this class because I like looked at a few and it seemed interesting. And it was like an agriculture related class. And the first, like the first day was like so good. Like the guy was like, these are the things that we're going to talk about. This is how we're going to structure the class. This is what's going to go on. And I was like, oh, this sounds like a really, really fun class. And so like, cause I'd, I'd been dabbling and then like we got started with the class and it was absolutely horrible it was so boring he would like drone on and on and then the exams were insufferable they were so hard and i was like oh my goodness i'm going to fail (laughs) i'm going to fail this like little gimme class that i thought i was Mm -hmm. taking and so i had to go to his office hours because he said like i think i got a c on the first exam or maybe a d i don't know i knew it was bad i knew i remember being super stressed about it he's like if if you if you're normally like an a higher grade student and you're struggling or whatever like come to my class like we'll t- like basically like if he's like if you're not doing as good as you like normally mm-hmm. do come we'll talk about it we'll figure out a solution and so i go to his office hours and i was like hey i did bad on this first exam what do we do i need a solution <laughs> and he was just like well, how did you study for the exam? And I told him how I studied for the exam. He's like, yeah, maybe study in a different way next time. It's like, okay. Oh, cool. And I did, I did study in a different way for the next one. And then he structured the whole exam differently. <laughs> Helpful again. I'm like, awesome. Awesome. Oh, I'm but so happy. I'm done I apparently school. ended up passing it. I found oh, school I to be too. incredibly I, stressful. I took some online classes this week. Oh my goodness. And they were... I just, I'm not a student. I'm I'm not someone that like likes to learn information and be tested on it. Yeah, I just, I actually, I like learning information. I just, I put all of my self-worth in my GPA. And like now to not have that like number feel like it's defining me is like a, a big release in my life. Yeah. It's no, also just sure. like so like silly. Now, like, I graduated my master's with a 4.0. Literally no one cares. <laughs> like it just, yeah. it is yeah, never Yeah, because now up. it's just about your work experience. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
And so it's like, uh, yeah, because no, like you're not going to be planning a party and they're going to be like, hey, what did you get on that intro class you took freshman year? Like it doesn't. Yeah. Interesting. So you're in your like busy season. Yeah. The busy season started this week. We had um, previews for an opening exhibition and then we had a patron reception on Thursday and now I have another reception next Thursday and then another reception the Thursday after that. So yeah, she's booked and busy. We're in it. I just put in an Abercrombie order. I got two new pairs of pants because I was feeling like I wear the same thing every day. And so I'm trying to like be re-inspired. Nice. It's crazy how like just changing your outfit can. Oh, if I like my outfit, my day is like 10 times better. Yeah, and I'm getting to the point where, like, my jeans, it's, like, obviously, as, like, a kid, like, you grow out of them before you might, like, wear them out, like, and also, I'm working, like, mm-hmm. on the farm. My jeans are, like, literally falling apart, and that's when I have to get new jeans. I'm, like, and, like, I'm so sad, because, like, the pair of jeans I'm actually wearing, like, right now are from Abercrombie, and, like, literally, like, the stitching on the seams is just, like, falling I've apart. I've never and, like, once in my, my life days are worn jeans to a point of... Actually, that's not true. I had one pair of jeans I'd worn to a point of not coming back, but they were like cheap Forever 21, bad stitching to begin mm-hmm. with. Yeah. No, and but I think it's, my I think shoes, it's also the like uh, stretchy. I wear ones. my shoes. Like, I wear my shoes. <laughs> and I think it's like being in New York. Mm-hmm. I, I walk to work a lot and I walk at work a lot. And so all my shoes are like kind of falling apart. Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't do good with shoes just because I always get white tennis shoes. And then I'm like, ah, I got to go do this, that. And like, I walked in mud today because I was like, oh, the ground will be frozen. I want no. the white tennis shoes with a V on the side. Do you know what those are? Oh, I don't, are they like Viore me, or I don't, something? I don't know the don't brand, know. but people at work have them. And I'm like, oh, I like that. I think those are mm, nice. Interesting. <laughs> those are not nice. Those are nice. Not I know, because if I wear sneakers to work, which I do occasionally, they need to be like clean nice sneakers Maybe, i can't like yeah roll up in my like frat air force ones <laughs> yeah yeah i couldn't roll up in those either it's just i think dad and jd would be really confused really confused and jd's birthday this week yeah so um this month it was your birthday our nephew's birthday edward's birthday audrey's birthday kimber's birthday jd's birthday and like there's only 20 this month yeah. nine days in february yeah. yeah and then tanner's birthday's in march like right away i just i i kind of like it too though because it's kind of easier to remember when everyone's like not everyone's but like a lot of people's birthdays are all at yeah. one little little time 29 yeah. sister friend the big two nine yeah and Tan- tanner's like 30 he's turning 31 Thir- 31 yeah because last year was 30 because we yeah but yeah, and we're we're doing um we're going to Columbus, and it's gonna double as a Kelsey and Josh moving to Arizona slash Tanner's birthday weekend because yes. uh, they're moving out soon. They are you uh, doing have a are you doing that this weekend or next? Um no 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 in a, in uh, a couple okay. weekends. Well, whenever the tenth is, um we're gonna we're gonna be busy little bees because. I'll have a tournament game, assuming that we win one. And then I have to drive that night after the tournament game up to Michigan because I'm speaking at a conference. And then I have to come home and then I'm attending a conference for two days, which I have, Tanner's going with me. He's not super thrilled, but he was willing to attend. Um, and then we're going straight then to Columbus and that conference is in like a different direction. Mm-hmm. So now I'm, I'm, I'm debating on just like letting Tanner get out of it. Uh, just because the cats and the the pets yeah. and stuff and i don't want i don't know i don't want to like be gone from them for that long but it's it's like an ad conference i attended it last year by myself and literally everyone was there with their like husbands wives mm-hmm. like and and they were there with their husbands and their wives because they like work together they farm together it like makes sense um whereas like tanner's not going to get that much out of it mm-hmm. but i was just a, a, lit, a little lonely yeah. um so i was like you can come You'll be bored. A little but lonely. It's like, it's it's. But like okay. I don't know. It's, it's always good for him to like understand. Yeah. Sister friend. Sister <laughs> yes. friend. Sister friend. Um, she's yeah. a sister. So she's a friend. I, don't know. I feel like once again, like today, we've just rambled on random 
randomness. Um, yeah, but we but. had a nice through line of elementary school traumas. <laughs> Is that? Yeah. Um, it's so sure. funny. <laughs> sure. Little kids. They're so goofy. Little five year olds. Yeah. Little they five year olds. I'm so goofy. sleepy, but I need to just like wake up and get the day started. I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm doing this, and then I think Tanner and I are going to go to Columbus and maybe see his parents. Oh, nice. Um, Tanner, since, since Tanner works from home, he gets like very restless because he just doesn't leave the house often. We need to come up with things for him to do, like just like going to get a coffee. Like he just needs mm-hmm. like routinely things to get himself out of the house because like he's just in there all day. Yeah. So like today he was like, I have to, we have to go do mm-hmm. something. Whereas like me every single day, I'm like, I'm finally, finally can come yeah. home. <laughs> I think I'm going to go to West Village today and do some shopping. Ooh. And I'm going to Little fun Frankie's fun. for dinner. And Little Frankie's is my favorite restaurant in the whole wide oh, world. Interesting. Yeah. Do you feel like you, you know all of New York City now? Like, like the neighborhoods? Like, and do stuff? you think you. Mm. Yeah. Like you have the, the lay of the land, you have all your favorite places. Oh, you're, yeah. No. Would you consider yourself a New Yorker? <clears throat> no. I think New Yorkers. It's so funny. I live with Kristen, obviously, who was born and raised in Queens, and she's like a New yeah. Yorker, and I'm like so clearly an Ohioan. Um, well, because she could be anything else. But I think <laughs> if I think you have to like live here for like ten years to be like I'm a New Yorker. I feel like I don't feel like I'm a tourist. I definitely feel like I have like some roots here, but um, <clears throat> I'm definitely like way too nice to be a New Yorker. Yeah, and how how many years have you been there now? Three. Two, three? Mm-hmm. Three, which is kind of crazy. Wow, it doesn't feel like that. Yeah, look at you, long. Yeah, and then so okay, so when you get not to get too much into your business, but when you sign your lease, are you going to sign like a year lease, a six months a lease? Year lease. So, okay. Are they pretty much all year or six months? Yeah, they're all pretty much year or and there's like some that are like fourteen months. Yeah, okay, but yeah, no, I'll just do a year. Um, yeah, it's gonna be really fun. Moving's really stressful, but. I have like all of these mm-hmm. mood boards saved and I have a Amazon wish list of, you know, things I want that I'm not going to buy until I sign a lease. Um, also, let me know if your bridal shower invite comes in the mail. I sent them on. Oh, Wednesday. yeah. Um, so. Yeah, I, I ordered some parts online on our Amazon joint mm-hmm. account and I um, in the basket there were i all i saw was balloons mm-hmm. and so i i just diselected everything and then selected my thing but i didn't scroll down because i was like oh don't want to uh, the amazon stuff uh, is not know, the keep, exciting keep stuff the surprise i mean it's just like the balloons oh i think it's like a litter yeah. oh and uh-huh. then like the games yeah oh my goodness and i felt so bad um alexa texted us yesterday and was like hey um are you guys gonna come to my baby shower because i kept looking at her invite and being like oh i need rsvp oh i need rsvp and then not taking care of it and then it's like i know i'm going to be entering that stage really soon where i'm frustrated that people aren't rsvping and i couldn't believe um, that i is, just forgot to do is so. it gonna be in ohio or is it gonna be in new york no so it's gonna be the weekend after the um the uh, my bachelor but is party. it gonna be in Ohio so she, she's or is doing it be in New York <laughs> yeah she, she's doing two oh, okay. she's doing one here and one there um so this will be for her her side of the family and stuff but yeah we we figured when we were planning my stuff and her stuff it would just be easier for her to come in and just okay. make a yeah double double weekend it's gonna be I was talking to her it's just like it's funny thinking about going to all like the bars and restaurants that you guys went to in college and now she's like I kind of have a baby bump <laughs> yes I know I and she, like she's one of the um I won't want to say like wildest but yeah. like like she was a like she's she was a good time a good time uh obviously she'll still be a great time she'll just like not be a intoxicated <laughs> great time I don't know it'll be it'll be, it'll be interesting it'll be yeah, fun I'm excited but yeah. okay it's probably also good to have like a sober queen there oh, you know yeah for sure sister friend we're at 53 <laughs> minutes what do we even talk about oh okay and uh, i don't know <laughs> it's a blur okay well it's been so real and it's been so fun and um i'll talk to you soon
Okay, sounds good. Uh, bye. bye.